<laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think he'd be alive when he comes back with you. you, you I, I have to be careful about this because I love all my guides. But without Tim Warford, I would not be in this business. He is, he is my right hand man. Uh, always has been since the first day he came to work with me. He can't even think about anything but duck hunting. He is, he is so obsessed with duck hunting. It's, it's to a fault. <laughs> he, he could have made a career uh, doing a lot of different things, but this is what he wants to do in the summertime. Uh, if he doesn't, he gets a few little contract jobs on the side there. He's a great operator, a uh, great uh, uh, excavator operator, and, and uh, can do a lot of things. But he wants to get on that tractor and go out there and work on that duck lease. So he's out there at least half of the summer. Uh, I pay for the gas, but he's doing that for free. He does it because he loves it. It's, it's just not, it's not something I could afford to do. And it's it's something that would never happen without Tim. I just, I can't say enough about Tim. He's just, he's, I'm surprised he's not over there at the barn working right now, seven o'clock at night. And right before the season, he would be. Uh, that's Tim. Now, where is Tim from? Say, Tim is from? So, <laughs> When I first met Tim, he was living out here on Bolivar Peninsula, and uh, he, he worked. He came to work for me. He worked for Forest West also. Uh, he came to work for me at the end of the 80s. Uh, he had come to a point where he was ready to make a move, still lived there in Bolivar, and uh, came to me and said, I'd like to work for you. So I put him to work. Uh, in the pond that he's in right now. Uh, we call it in your face because the, the birds tend to get real close. Uh, and, and a lot of that is because what he does, the camouflage, uh, the decoy spread, you'll see that tomorrow. That's where we're gonna hunt tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you, most people will never see a 1500 decoy spread. You'll see it tomorrow. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's successful. He has a great season. Uh, late season, this time of year it starts to fade, but uh, he's been hanging in there really well. Lots of teal, lots of catwall, some shovelers, lots of pintails. He's, he's probably our best, best pintail uh, hunting spot, best goose hunting spot. But to call him, uh, he's got all the calls. Still voice calls the geese. Uh, got excellent duck caller. Excellent duck caller. And all my guys are excellent duck callers. But Tim and Bob, they're, they're, they're the best. They're specialists. Speaking of the durability of these guys, now Bob is 70, Tim is, uh, is uh, 65. These guys are out here every day. They hunt every day of the season. If I tell them they don't have a party, it's, it's like a, a major deal for them to take a day off. They hate taking a day off. They're gonna say, Bob, can I go with you? Can I, can I just go help somebody? I, I want to be in a duck line. They want to be in a duck, duck line every day. It's unbelievable. Uh, I like to be in the duck line a lot, but uh, nowadays, maybe not that much. So Bob hunts down at the deep marsh. He takes a big boat, goes in the dark down Oyster Bio for about seven or eight miles every morning. I don't know how many times he's been down there maybe 3,000 trips down that bow. So it's it's an incredible, I, I can't tell you how incredible it is 
to see that kind of diligence and effort. You go out to their blinds, Bob's blind is immaculate. Uh, when you drive up to the water control structure at night, the lights turn on. He has motion sensors out there on batteries with solar chargers at the dock. So they get in the, uh, the, the service drive and go out to the duck line. And it, when he steps out on the bank, he pushes a button and the light, the, the blinds have lights inside them. And there's a little uh, Christmas tree ornament light that goes down the walkway that's behind the blinds. Tim is, is also a fanatic. Got to hunt every day. Uh, can't stand it not to hunt. And if I don't have a hunt for him and there's no money, uh, he will go out and sit beside his blind. He'll sit in his scooter and watch the birds. Just unbelievable. Uh, it's a it's a it's a disease. We hunt together as many times as we possibly can. Uh, I hunt with Tim a lot because he's closer and I need to get back to the lodge a little bit earlier just to run the business. Uh, I hunt with Bob every chance I get. Uh, I particularly like bringing my family down or Thanksgiving or Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve and we go hunting with Bob. Uh, his hunting during the latter part of the season is incredible. Uh, Tim's is really good in the latter part of the season but it's the most incredible during teal and uh, in November, first couple of weeks of December, was fantastic. He had a great hunt this morning, lots of teal activity, some new pintails coming in, real shiny white breasts, uh, uh, shovelers, diving ducks, ruddy ducks, uh, just all different species of birds. And we're going to see that tomorrow. Uh, that's that's where we're going. That's where we're going to go. We're going to Tim. Uh, I get to, I get to enjoy Tim. A lot more than you will, but it'll be fantastic tomorrow. Fantastic.